DFARM New Syllabus 2020, revamping the curriculum, pedagogy, assessment and student support is one of the vision statements and recommendations of the National Education Policy NEP of Government of India for attaining the enhanced learning experience by the students. In light of this, Pharmacy Council of India, PCI, the apex body regulating the pharmacy education in the country, committed to revise the education regulations of Diploma in Pharmacy DFARM program and thus the Education Regulations 2020 ER 2020 has been notified in the Gazette of India in October 2020. This new regulation has given due consideration for the fact that universally the role of pharmacists has undergone continuous evolution from dispenser of medicines to medicine expert in the multidisciplinary healthcare team. Accordingly, the courses, course means the subject of the existing education regulations ER 91 have been revisited compared with the present and future needs of the society, expectations of the healthcare team and other stakeholders from the pharmacists were assessed, feedback from the experts in the pharmacy and other healthcare professions were sought. Thus, the course of study prescribed in ER 2020 is an amalgamation of all such exercise to arrive at a curriculum structure for DFARM that is more relevant to the current practice standard, dynamic to accommodate and address the upcoming changes. Today, we are going to discuss about the various subjects and scheme of examination of DFARM new syllabus 2020. Let us discuss on the broader statements on the purpose of the course in the curriculum, key contents of the course that will contribute to the specific knowledge and or skill developments. The course objectives describe the key topics that are intended by the teacher to be covered in the course. In general, these are more specific than the scope and broader than the scope outcomes. The teacher is expected to discuss the objectives of the course with the students and break down the course objectives into micro levels as objectives of a specific topic, objectives of a specific lecture, etc. Such an exercise shall make the students to understand the significance of the course or topic or the lecture and enhance their attention on the course, topic or the lecture. A well-structured assessment plan is associated with the course outcomes shall enable to mapping with the professional competences and their attainment levels that are attributed to the program outcomes. Theory courses, practical courses, tutorials, assignments and field visits are included. Theory course basically provides concepts and explain the relationships between these concepts. Practical courses are designed for applying the theoretical knowledge in the given experimental or simulated conditions. Tutorials, tutorials is typically to engage the students in smaller groups in order to pay a close attention on their learning progress. Assignments, the purpose of the assignments are to encourage the students for self-directed learning. Finally, the field visits, the purpose of the field visits is to provide a real world experience to the students. The field visit will help them to realize that when they learn within the walls of the classroom or laboratory can help them solve the problems they see in the world around them. The curriculum course and the activities are divided into three categories. Part one, part two, part three. Part one is first year D form. Part two is second year D form. And part three is practical training. Part 1, we have 5 subjects, Pharmaceutics, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Pharmacognosy, Human Anatomy and Physiology and Social Pharmacy. So for all these subjects, we have both theory and practical. So theory, 5 theory subjects and 5 practical subjects in part 1. 3 practical courses have been introduced for the first time in ER 2020 syllabus. Further, about 275 hours have been assigned for the first time in DFARM curriculum for tutorial activities. All such changes explicitly reveal that the ER 2020 is intended to provide a little edge 
to the experimental learning through the practical courses and encourages the small group teaching learning, self-directed learning, etc. in the tutorial hours. The introduction of social pharmacy course theory and practical will provide insights about the primary and preventive healthcare concepts in the country and the potential roles of pharmacists in such healthcare segments. Part 2, the second year d -Farm contains six subjects for which we have six theories and five practicals. Pharmacology, community pharmacy and management, biochemistry and clinical pathology, pharmacotherapeutics, hospital and clinical pharmacy, pharmacy law and ethics. Among these subjects, pharmacy law and ethics has only theory and do not have practical. Introduction of pharmacotherapeutics course, theory and practical is one of the revolutionary changes in the new curriculum that will help the students to hone their knowledge and skills in the area of pharmaceutical care services which will certainly redefine the roles of the deform qualified pharmacists in both community and hospital settings. Part 3 is about the practical training. The goal of the practical training for the students is to provide a real-time supervised experience on the professional tasks emphasized in their course of study. Further, it helps them to apply their acquired knowledge and skills in the professional working environment. The practical training intensively prepares the students with adequate competencies and qualifications required for the career opportunity in the future. We will discuss in detail about this practical training in a separate video. We will now discuss about the scheme for examination, both sessional and board or university. There shall be two or more periodic sessional, that is internal assessment examinations during each academic year. The duration of the sessional exam shall be 90 minutes, that is one and a half hours. The highest aggregate of any two performances shall form the basis of calculating the sessional marks, that is average of any two sessional marks. The scheme of sessional examination is divided into three parts like first is long answer, answer three out of four questions and each answer carries five marks. Second is short answers, answer five out of six questions, each answers carry three marks. And third is objective type questions. These objective type questions can be either multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks or one word or one sentence questions. Answer all 10 questions, no choice. Each answer carry one mark. Total marks for theory sessional examination is for 40 marks. Finally, this 40 marks shall be reduced to 20 in each sessional and then the internal assessment shall be calculated based on the best two averages for 20 marks. The scheme of question paper for the theory examinations conducted by the examining authority, either board or university, shall be as shown in the table. The duration of the final examination shall be for three hours. The scheme of sessional examination is divided into three parts, like first is long answer, answer six out of seven questions, each answer carries five marks. Second is short answer, answer 10 out of 11 questions, each answers carry three marks. Third is objective type questions. These objective type questions can be either multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks, one word or one sentence questions. Answer all 20 questions, no choice. Each answer carry one mark. So the total marks for the final examination is 80 marks. There shall be two or more periodic practical sessional examination during each academic year. The duration of the sessional examination shall be three hours. The highest aggregate that is average of any two performances shall form the basis of calculating the sessional marks. The scheme of practical sessional examination is divided into four parts like first is synopsis which carry 10 marks, second is experiment which carry 50 marks. The marks for the experiment shall be divided into various categories like major experiment, minor experiment, spotters, etc. as per the requirement of the subject. Third is Viva Vos, which carries 10 marks. Fourth is Practical Record Maintenance, which carry 10 marks for the record. 
the total marks for practical sessional examination is 80 marks this 80 marks shall be reduced into 10 that is converted into 10 in each sessional and then the internal assessment shall be calculated based upon the best two averages for 10 marks the remaining 10 marks shall be awarded from assignments and field visits the total marks for internal assessment practical exam is for 20 marks the actual performance in the sessional examination is for 10 marks which we discussed previously that is the total sessional is for 80 marks and it can be converted into 10 marks the remaining 10 marks is for assignment and field visits in which assignment carry 5 marks which is an average of 3 assignments for each sessional in the same way field visit report carries 5 marks which is an average of 3 field visit report for each sessional now we have to consider if the syllabus of the subject mentions assignment and field visit then 10 marks can be calculated like this if the syllabus of the subject does not mention assignment and field visit then the 80 marks of the actual practical sessional exam can be converted directly into 20 marks the scheme of the question paper for the practical examinations conducted by the examining authority board or university shall be as mentioned in the table the duration of the final examination shall be for three hours the scheme of practical board or university exam is divided into three parts like first is synopsis which carry 10 marks second is experiment which carry 60 marks the marks for the experiment shall be divided into various categories like major experiment minor experiments spot test etc as per the requirement of the subject third is viva words which carries 10 marks so the total marks for the final practical examination which is conducted by the university or board for three hours is 80 marks I hope the subjects and the scheme of examination for both sessional and final theory and practical examination of new deformed syllabus is well explained. We will discuss about other criteria of new syllabus in next videos. For any suggestions write to us at pharmainsights2020 at the rate of gmail.com.